we discovered that our NHS Trust is not going to continue providing community health services to the children and young people of Bristol and South Gloucestershire after March next year and that we will be, and that we would be hauled onto the auction stand before salivating privateers. We were told not to make a fuss and to ensure business continues as usual. and they have relinquished the contract a year ahead of time um, and there's two bidders who are currently in the process yeah. in short list one is Virgin Healthcare It's our Virgin may operate CCH turf services under the NHS logo but believe me they will not operate under the NHS ethos of which we are so proud they will put profits before patient care. They will cut staffing and damage staff morale by cutting their terms and conditions. The children of Bristol and South Gloucestershire will inevitably suffer. Well, there's no way we're going to neglect the kids we work with, but neither are we going to let them down by allowing these parasites to swagger through the gates unopposed. We've seen over the past years crippling cuts to mental health services. We, what we're talking about here in a service that, uh, that is struggling is actually one of our best services in mental health in the city at the moment. And yet we stand here on the cost of this service being broken away from the rest of uh, child and adolescent mental health care from the community teams. And we stand here, as you know, on the cusp of privatisation. I want to think about uh, the Riverside unit, Yay! which is our... Yay! The Riverside unit, as many of you know, is the regional inpatient service we have for, uh, for children and adolescents, the most unwell people in the region, children who are, are no longer coping at home and need to go uh, into, into hospital. And the Riverside Unit, which has been run by North Bristol Trust, recently received, uh, back in November, a good rating, a good rating from the Care Quality Commission, and it was recently awarded uh, excellence as well from the from the Royal College of, of Psychiatrists. So we know that private does not equal better. The for-profit company Circle that took over Hinchingbrook NHS Hospital in 2012 received a damning report from the CQC for patient neglect before it pulled out of the contract this year. Here in the South West, Serco were forced to pull out of the GP out of hours service in Cornwall for falsifying data and operating a bullying culture. And on our doorstep here in Bristol, we saw the appalling neglect of some of the most vulnerable clients at the hands of Castlebeck at Winterbourne View. Uh, with you and with 7,000 people, I think, on the uh, who put their names forward to demand that the commissioners keep these services together and keep these services under the NHS. We have a petition here, and we've got three young people who are going to take it in to the CCH photographs. No? No, no. Why not? The landlord, the building. I'm sorry, so this, this is a public private sector. building. Oh, okay. Please. We actually occupied the base of a CCG building and uh, despite the efforts of the security guards to get us out, we were able to actually have a very effective protest. They don't want to, Virgin already deliver huge numbers of healthcare services within the UK and again that's something that people don't associate with and aren't aware of so um, we feel this is part of a creeping process of privatisation where Richard Branson for one but other healthcare providers, private healthcare providers are trying to infiltrate the NHS and actually make profit out of healthcare services. <laughs> With the Health and Social Care Act in 2012, instead of a publicly funded and publicly owned NHS, 
We now have a competitive market. We're into a time of commercial contract with private for-profit companies competing with each other and with the NHS. We refuse to be complicit in this legalised theft. We're proud to work for the NHS. We won't apologise for standing together in our trade unions. And we will defend socialised healthcare to the last. Thanks very much. Yes.